Hey y'all. So today I thought we'd do something a little fun. Um, and the boys might really enjoy doing this too. Um, they like worms maybe a little more than girls. But anyway, um, today I thought we'd do us a blue and green caterpillar. So what you're going to need is your round brush, some blue and green watercolor paint, and watercolor paper. And now it's very important that you use watercolor paper. This will not work on regular paper. It has to be what's designated as watercolor paper. And it needs to be at least 140 pound cold pressed paper. That's what I use on everything. You can get a pad of it um, like at Walmart or you might be able to order it, not sure. I use the Canson brand. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive for a pad. Uh, as you can see, I've made mine into small pieces. This is great for just, you know, scraps to paint on and, and uh, practice on. So uh, get your things ready. Get you a, couple, a cup of clean water, a paper towel to blot on, your paints out and your brush out, and you're probably going to need a pencil for this too. So, all right, are y'all ready? Here we go. The first thing you're going to do is get your green paint wet. And now it has to be pretty wet. It can't be just paint. It's got to have some, some moisture to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our caterpillar's head. All right, don't think I got enough water in it. Do you see how it's got to be pretty wet? You See that water moving around in there? Okay, so that's what I want it to look like. And I do want just a little bit of a light area at the top, and I want all of that to kind of puddle down there at the bottom. All right, you're gonna wash your brush completely out, and then you're gonna get some of your blue paint, and again, it has to be fairly watery. Need paint in it, but it needs to have some moisture. All right, and then you're gonna just come right close to, right close to the green you've already put down. Do you see how that green is following the blue in? That's because of the moisture that's in there. All right, wash your brush out. And this paint's only gonna go where it's wet. Wash your brush completely out and go back to your green. All right, we're gonna put another, ooh, let me get another little bit of water here. I'm gonna put another one. And you can see that the blue is going to flow into, if you get it right up close to it, it's going to flow into, the green may flow into, but it's going to. Just give it time. All right, wash your brush out, go back to the blue, pick up some more, come right up to the edge of that, fill it in. You see it's following? Okay, wash your brush out again, get some more green. We're just gonna alternate the green and the blue. And you're just coming up right at the edge of and making you a circle and then filling in. And then filling in. All right, so I want this blue to bleed some into the green, so I'm gonna touch me down. A little dot of blue, right there. Get it wet enough so it'll work. A little dot of blue right there. So it'll bleed over into the green. Now. Now I've got a bubble. Can y'all see that? Wash your brush out and just touch it and it'll go away. All right. So y'all see how that's all beginning to bloom into each other? That is the idea. Okay, one last one. And it's gonna be blue. These are segments of this caterpillar's body. Oh no, we might have to do another green one down on the end just to make him look right. Make sure that's kind of round. Okay. 
And I'm going to put just a dab of green right there because I don't think I got close enough. Because I do want it to run into each other. That's the idea with this watercolor. Just to kind of make him go together. Okay, and we are going to do one more green. One more green for his tail. And this one's going to just be a little, little bitty one. Come on out here by the side. Let's do just one little bitty one right there. Okay. So, can you see how we have the beginnings of the caterpillar? Okay, so now, take your pencil, and you're going to put some legs on him. Well, first of all, I think I'm going to give him some antenna. One, two, one, two, one, two, two. And then there's his tail. Now don't forget to give him a sweet little face. And there you have our cute little caterpillar.